Uh, my name is Michael Jones. I'm the course director here. Here at Colbert, we have three um, classes in which students do learn instrumentation and vocal um, abilities as well. That's our band, our orchestra, and our chorus. Um, I'm sure back in the day, you may have had classes in which your teachers may have shown you something like this for you to identify. And everybody knows the name of this note, correct? If you know the name of the note, raise your hand. Very good. And the note is what? Say it like you know it. There you go. All right. You really know it. Good. Now, the iTouch has an application that is really great for my kids in class. The iPod Touch has a great application. It allows us to identify notes on the treble and bass clef staff. There's also an application that allows the orchestra for cello and viola players to identify alto and um, center clef, exactly. Now with these clefs, um, all students in all our disciplines, they have, all have to learn how to read music. Every good boy does fine, F-A-C-E, I'll see the head nod, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> but we have the I Know Trainer, which acts as a game to identify, it gives you amount of time, the correct number you get correct. Don't worry, Ed, I'm not calling you up. <laughs> There's a score as well, so you, you'll know how well you're doing. And it's going to give you, it's like a game. To, instead of having the flashcards like you used to have and some of your teachers used to give those to you, this will help you enhance your identification of notes. And as you can see, the clock is running, and I'm going to take a guess at this. And you can see what I have correct, and you see my score. However, let's say I make a mistake. You see the long sign comes up. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to make another mistake. Oh, wrong again. And notice it just will drop down until the final correct answer, and you're right, okay? And, it's, and of course, it goes back to the treble clef as well. And you can do it, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So it really helps students identify the notes. And I say also again, this is also is in the tenor and alto clef as well. Now, as far as the, another application that's really good on here, I love playing piano. But as, as you can see, I can take a piano along with me now. now. Why would I need a piano? Well, for a chorus ensemble or any music ensemble, instruments need to be tuned. Voices need to be corrected as much as possible. <laughs> <laughs> and songs <laughs> will be sung. The pianist actually allows me to play a note. And for example, with a group, I can give them a starting pitch and they can sing along with it, okay? It doesn't all, it also, you can do it in, in third, so it's not monophonic, okay? It's polyphonic, so you can actually do whatever you want to. And it works really well. Well, I have a lovely singer here today. Would you please give her a hand? <laughs> and everybody in here knows the song, Mary Had a Little Lamb. If you don't, raise your hand. <laughs> okay, we're good to go. Well, like I said, I love playing, and this wall here is going to help lead all of us together before we have our break. And you have to sing out good enough to make sure you get something to eat and drink. <laughs> so we're going to sing together, and we're going to do Mary Had a Little Lamb. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Little lamb. Mary had a little lamb whose fleece was white as snow. Slip the hand. All right. Great. <laughs>